robots include increasingly more and more cognitive capabilities. The term cognition or cognitive capabilities doesn't come really from robotics. It's a term we use, for example, in psychology. And it uh, refers to certain capabilities that we humans and some of them animals have. For example, we're speaking about memory, about attention, about language, perception, problem solving, planning. All these kinds of capabilities uh, living beings have, especially humans. When we translate these capabilities to robots, we make use, of course, of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence provides us, for example, perception capabilities. I'm talking, for example, about computer vision or automatic speech recognition or speech to text translation. It also contributes with uh, language capabilities, what is called natural language processing, especially natural, natural language understanding, but also, for example, natural language generation. Artificial intelligence provides us also with algorithms for reasoning, for planning, for searching. And perhaps in the most uh, challenging or futuristic vision, it, there's also research on self-awareness and even robotic consciousness. And this uh, mix of cognitive capabilities with robots gives rise to a discipline called cognitive robotics, a really amazing discipline. And I think this area deserves a lot of videos to give more details about all these cognitive capabilities.